tonight. I have a little curiosity that I'd never heard of before. And when it was in a spirit release, I must have walked right past it. Because it is this. Quite a label, isn't it? You can go right past this and not know what the hell it is. And anyway, it's from the East London Liquor Company. So it's a cask aged whiskey, it says. It's booze with bottle. Oh, okay. Whatever that. Figure that out. So this is something I've never had before, I've never heard of. But I saw it in the liquor store tonight. And it's been discounted down to $110.97 from $140.99. So $110.97, so that would be uh, $16.50 on top of that. So $127, $128, somewhere in that ballpark. And it says on here, well, you can see the... The label there, that's very bold. Single malt 2022. 100% Maris Otter Barley from the topographically menacing fields of East Anglia. Fermented with a veritable supergroup of yeast strains. It's greater than the sum of its parts and oh so harmonious. Double pot distillation. Aged in ex-bourbon, new American oak and... Regenerated French oak barrels, this chart topper will have you hitting refill and repeat time and again. Really? Okay, now there's some tasting notes uh, and a couple other things on here, but I'm going to taste it myself and then maybe get back to the tasting notes if I feel like it. This is bottled at 47% alcohol by volume, and I already told you what it cost. A little bit on the expensive side and that's maybe that's why they're marking it down because people keep walking right past it <laughs> I think the labeling leaves a little bit to be desired with such bold letters that they don't even fit on one side of the box okay uh, this is the East London top of the top of the foil and here we go whoa okay this is totally composite cork, not just the the cork part, but the, the top part too. It's all composite cork. Weird. Okay. Gonna pour a dram here. So this would this would qualify as a world whiskey. To be put in my world whiskey infinity bottle here which used to contain hibiki but it's my world whiskey infinity okay East London yeah well when I stayed in London I was more to the west side for a couple days I hadn't been to East London I don't think I was down to Soho, but isn't that somewhere near the middle? Uh, I'd have to look up my uh, London geography. And, oh, sheeting action. Down it comes real quick. All right. Nosing. Ah. Oh. What do we have here? Hmm. Hi, Lisa. Come and join me. I'm trying a whiskey. Is it already taping already? Yeah, it's already filming. Oh, no. I started without you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Here, have a glass. Try some of this.
<coughs> you already tried it? I'm just nosing it now. It noses like... Oh. Hmm? It smells strong. That's only 47%. No liqueurs today. No, no liqueurs, no. Hmm. There is something about this one. It's quite young. <clears throat> is that the sweet corn? What is that distinct smell? That's a single malt. Hmm. There's no corn in it. Oh, it is a sweet smell. I'm not sure. It, it does have a bit of a sweet smell to it. Now, I think that has to do with whatever kind of, um, whatever kind of yeast that they used and whatever kind of barley that they used because they mentioned yeasts and barleys on, on here. Uh, we're guessing this won't be the first whiskey you'll ever drink and it probably won't be the last. That's because the love of whiskey that... Uh, drives you on a voyage of discovery. Turn right and you hit the path well trodden. The safe and same old, same old, but turn left and you'll find yourself at the doors of our distillery <laughs> where we like to do things our way. Take a left. Mm -hmm. Every drop we produce is made right here in East End of London, English malted barley, long fermentation, aged in a massive range of barrels from around the world and distilled by a crew with more fresh ideas than the copywriters can handle. All combined, these create the unique style and flavor profile of our single malt. Whiskey may be steeped in a tradition, but we have our eyes firmly fixed on the future, drawing inspiration from some of the great drams of the past. This is our take on the single malt of modern times. Throw away the map, turn left, and join us in the new school. Okay. 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 I'm not overwhelmed yet by the nose. No, neither. It's smells like a young whiskey to me. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe that's what the smell is. Like some of them have that dis that sort of distinct sort of. Hmm. I don't know. Is it honey? Mm, probably. Honey and butterscotch a little bit. Um, Not caramel. Caramel, yeah. Okay. Smells like another sweet one. It's also quite a nip of alcohol on it. It's a little hot, I think. But I'm going to have to taste it to know for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Oh, that is different. That is really different. <laughs> I'm getting... I have to have a second sip on that. Well, it's changed smells since I mm -hmm. smelled it first. Oh, sorry. That's a good sign. If it changed, if it changed smells, is that different or what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I I really taste honey. Mm hmm. This would taste like to me. Honey. Like strong honey. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the sweetness right there. That's bee puke. Pure bee puke. Is that protein? <laughs> honey? Bee puke. Bee puke is honey. Okay, I guess, I guess it's not protein. We're not eating the bee. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of honey. What do they say? Because they, they give it tasting notes, too. 
Um, okay, where did they say the taste notes? Oh, what did it say here? I think it was on here where the tasting notes were. Okay, honey on the nose, praline on the palate. Yeah, okay, I see that. That's why I said the honey for peppers. Hay and digestive biscuit on the finish. Digestive biscuit. <laughs> yeah, you know, like arrow roots, you know, the ones. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just about, yeah. That's pretty much all. It's not complex, not complex at all. It's no. it's quite simple and plain. That's all I smell was honey. Well, if you like bee puke, that's the one for you. Yeah. Bee puke. Mm -hmm. Bee puke. Is honey. Yeah. Yeah, it's like and it's like it's it's kind of like a strong honey taste. Mm -hmm. actually. Oh sugar, sugar, oh honey, honey. You're my candy girl. And you got me wanting you. <laughs> Whiskey girl. <laughs> well you I, I was quoting the song. <laughs> Where'd you get this one from? BC liquor. Broad meat. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Um, it's I feel like I've had another one. It's got like that that distinct smell to it, and maybe that's what it is. Maybe it is honey on the other one that I smelled. It could be. Sorry, I'm tired. Oh, could this be? You're always tired. I know, I'm always tired. But you're still awake. Yeah, I'm still awake. <laughs> that's good. <For> now. <laughs> Till I pass out on the dance floor. Well, um, be yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Honey. Be puke. <laughs> Food quick. 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 Food quick.